kind of take this all in. This is a really yeah. pretty space. I love Gorgeous. the little shafts of light that come through. Mm -hmm. And I hope this is coming through on the stream, but the ambient noise here is really nice. I've got the sound of wind going through the trees. I've got bird song. And I'm going to get into a lot of trouble here, but it's a nice place to get started. <laughs> so I will kick it off and start running around here. So I can't say too much about how this kingdom fits into the rest of the game and the other kingdoms we've shown so far. But yeah, this is Treehouse Live exclusive content. We are not making this playable on the show floor. So this is just for you guys who are checking us out on stream. And I'm going to head down and chat to these fellas. So and yeah, these are the steam gardeners. They're the, they're the natives. Every, every kingdom has its own strange native creatures. And they're robot watering cans that take care of the flowers. And I, I love their dialogue. <laughs> Rotating out of control, doing to anxiety. It seems like a good way to handle stress. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all because of Bowser. Yeah. yeah, he has taken their flowers. It's very sad. They worked very, very hard on them. Rotten guy. Mm -hmm. And what's good to know, though, is even though Bowser is causing lots of havoc, commerce is still alive and well. I've got a nice little crazy cap spot here. Yeah. And I know we did a little bit of shopping in the first segment, but I just want to visit these guys and see what they've got going on. Yeah. And as we explained in that previous segment, there are two coins. He's, he's explaining again. There's yellow coins, which are good everywhere, and purple coins that are unique to the individual kingdom. So we got some goodies there. I like how direct they are, too. Spend money. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> and they look so cute. With Subtlety is not their strong suit. And these caught my eye. I think that uh, since so much of this game is all about travel and exploration, having the explorer's outfit feels like a good way to go as totally. we're getting in here. And I'm going to need 15 of the local currency. Yeah, especially with all the that. green and stuff, you need an explorer outfit to yeah. so trek it. Before I'm going to mess around with these guys a little bit first. So. Oh, look at Mario Jam. Yeah. You'll see I can change the music, and I just, yeah, I've got to get a look at this dude. So happy. <laughs> He's just so, so happy. I love his dance. But all right, we'll, we'll get up some more trouble here. Yeah. Leave that alone. Nope. One more trouble looking at. <laughs> just just that boxes. guy worked hard to stack those sandals. Right? He really did. Maybe his stock was there. You just ruined the shop. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd he go, Sam? I'm a Trying to smash and grab your explorer clothes? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll earn them properly. I'll, I'll get the currency. So I got two there. And you see the regional currency here, these cute little gears. Hi, buddy. Hi. All right, I'm going to leave you be. And. This and is just intriguing. naturally, there's Egyptian Sphinx in the middle of the woods. There's a lot of very oh, yeah, that, unusual that stuff in this forest. <laughs> it's at all. It's in the a strange of a place. place. Huh. Yeah. So, uh, a few more coins over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. And now, over by this water. So you'll if notice you listen, every, there's frog noises. Frog noises? Yeah. Oh, you're right. The ambient uh, noise in this kingdom is just incredible. As you move around, you're going to start hearing different yeah. kinds of wildlife. I, I love that. It's so relaxing. It's just so fitting in the setting. I was just going to comment that every time you get one of those regional coins, it comes up with you know X of 100, and that's because there are you know exactly 100 uh, in this in this kingdom, and they're all you know in specific places. So that there's this is an, an additional collectible along with power moons and a few other things that you can find throughout the game to keep you busy almost forever. This game is huge. And that is a suspicious rock, but I'm going to That is it super suspicious. So I love that this game is really taking uh, so much of inspiration and so much of its DNA from Super Mario 64 and Sunshine. And 64 is, I think, straight up my favorite game in the Mario series. And any other folks watching who are also 64 fans, you'll remember the rabbit in the basement Those and how rabbits. much that rabbit drove you nuts. So we have a bunny here, and if I can get close enough to take a peek, he is also wearing an adorable little hat. <laughs> Are you going to steal that? I'm going to try to yeah. catch him. Come here, bud. The important thing is that if he's I wearing a hat, he friends. can't be captured. Yes. Oh, nice. That went a lot better than I was expecting it to, frankly. Yeah, that's, yeah, was, that's that actually fine. worked well. Pretty fast, yeah. Uh, it's really a nice way to, I think, practice your targeting as you're dealing with Cappy, because his trajectory as he comes back to you shifts as you're running around. You'll notice here if I throw it out and then head this way, he's going to come back to me that way. So you can be pretty strategic about how you deal with this trajectory to get with uh, uh, some of those targets that are fast moving. And there's another look at my Odyssey ship. It's yeah. beautiful, but I need more coins. I need to get going on this. And rolling is, I think, one of my favorite ways to get I around in this really game. I really enjoy this. <laughs> it's <just> so fun. <laughs> It's a quick way to get around places. It's not something I can do in real life without getting super dizzy, so I might as well take advantage here. Totally. Or Mario's got the skills. Ooh. Little tunnel. Oh, yeah, a oh, little bit of purple there. there. All right, oh, you're so almost there. Eight, I'm getting there. But I do love how much these spaces encourage 
just kind of free exploration. So if I wanted to, there is uh, sort of an overarching mission that I could do here to progress the story and move along. And we'll be getting to that a little bit later. But if you just run A to B and try to focus on completing goals and you don't really dig into these spaces, you're missing so much of what this game has to offer. There's Ooh, so much points. more. I'm sure I can't say you know the numbers on the number of moons you need to complete the game and the number of moons there are altogether, but it's it's a very large a difference. Lot. I'll leave it at that. Definitely a significant volume of collectibles, which is great for me because I'm a complete collectible junkie. Yeah, yeah I same everyone. for me. And, and can see. we, Ooh, Sam? Can you show us the sky a little bit there? I would love to show you the sky. Let me grab these coins. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I missed. Oh no. I'm Are you stuck short. down there now? No, I'm not stuck. I'm just short. Uh. <laughs> no, I can do this. I know that feeling. It's true. This is kind of like life. <laughs> no. I'm just accepting the fact that I'm short. Yeah. So yeah, the sky here is very interesting. You'll notice. Yeah, it's a sci-fi, like a holographic dome or something. I, I. Apparently built by the robots. I, I I want to know more. I think this is something we're going to have to ping the devs about next time they're back on a segment because yeah, yeah. it is very curious. And if you look, it's very faint off there in the distance. But we've got these larger seams and also these little triangular panels. Yeah, yeah. it looks like a biosphere. It's Mario in his own TV show. Mountains. It, may, it could be. This is this is like the Mario show. Forest. It's a it's a super pretty kingdom, and all of the kingdoms in this game are just so diverse as far as what you're going to see and find there. It's a yeah, it really blew my mind the first time I played through different kingdoms and found yeah. out what they were doing stylistically. We're going to take a little slow wander here. Well, Seems the, a little precarious, Sam. Uh, just, a, just a touch, but you can hear little footsteps in the grass. Mm. Oh, I got some coins. Some All coins right. to do this. Ah. Ah. Oh, I regret my decisions and I made a mistake. <laughs> or did I? Oh. oh, there's a world underground. So... If you want to find everything that's in this game and really dig into all the interesting little corners, you're going to have to be a bit of a daredevil at certain points and take some leaps of faith and try some stuff that maybe in a Mario game you would not think is terribly wise. Mm -hmm. But this is the deep wood, and it is creepy. It I is. love this space. Mario's terrified. He does not want to be here at all. Yeah. Oh, look at him, buddy. Oh, sorry, buddy. Even Cappy looks startled. <laughs> <laughs> but that's OK. We won't leave him down here forever. But I just want to appreciate how this space looks. And here, the ambient noise, we're hearing a lot more uh, insect calls, little uh, crickety kind of noises as well. And there are a lot of goodies to be found down here. I don't want to show off too many of them because we want to hang on to some surprises. Yeah. But there are some very cool things here. And I feel bad for these guys. I feel like they got the short end of the stick when it came to job assignments yeah, with who, the steam gardeners. Who, who did this guy annoy to get stuck with this job? And you will be in the deep wood. Especially <laughs> down here dark. where everybody else is up there. Yeah, it's dark and cold. and. I also wanted to mention um, this, th this, this level is not playable on the, on the show floor, but there is another area kind of like this in that you have to do something that seems to be lethal to get to, the er to get to the area in question. And I didn't actually know about it until Sam showed it to me while we were preparing for Treehouse Live. Because yeah, so, Sam is more of a daredevil than I am. I, I do a lot of very <laughs> foolish things when I'm playing games just to see what will happen. You know, Works out well in this game, though. It definitely encourages experimentation. And this is actually kind of a neat spot here. So we've got super creepy creepy, dark forest. Everything's terrifying. And, and then, then we a have a weirdly happy cartoony little tree. tree. This is a very <laughs> happy little tree. That tree definitely seems out of place from it the does. rest of the trees. Because one thing this game has taught me is as soon as something's out of place, you throw your hat at it. Mightiest capture. <laughs> Mario Target. the tree. I am the most mighty of trees. And I can't do much, but I can do this. <laughs> the little hopping little motion butt. gets me every time. So I'm the noise, too. Just... <laughs> Doing my little tree dance. Basically Ooh. what a tree would sound like if it was hopping, I'm pretty sure. But what's nice is now I was able to uncover oh, nice. another moon. So definitely when you're playing the game, and if you happen to be here at E3 and you're playing our levels on the show floor, just try throwing Cappy <coughs> at everything. It's yeah. so worthwhile. You never know what you're going to find. There's a lot of just fun capture targets, fun secrets. Oh. And they've really built the, <coughs> the challenge here where I think whatever kind of player you are, you're going to find some stuff that really feels like it's you know, in your wheelhouse. It's the kind of stuff that you're comfortable doing. And then a lot of stuff that's going to take you out of your comfort zone. So maybe you're a precision jumper or the kind of person who likes uh, uh, more of the scavenger hunt style mm -hmm. or just finding these weird little spots in the world. It's, it's very cool. And actually, before we head back up to the surface, there's one little friend I would like to introduce people to. 
I'll go nice and quietly, so it'll startle him. Yeah. Is yeah. it a little friend or a big friend? He's a, he's a pretty big friend. He's pretty fantastic. I see a tail. Hi, buddy. Oh, so boy. if you watched uh, the video during the spotlight, you certainly saw the T-Rex. And uh, here he is wearing a fantastic hat. <laughs> he's super dapper. He's just taking a little nap. That's a cowboy hat. You didn't know you wanted to see a T-Rex sleeping in a cowboy hat until today, did you? <laughs> I feel bad for Mario. I'm doing this to him. Like, get a little closer. See the T-Rex. Is that too close? Maybe a little too close. You could and fit like three of Mario in his mouth. <laughs> oh, no. And the T-Rex is actually snoring. He's got the cutest little <laughs> snore as he's sleeping. So I'm not going to bug him and wake him up. I'm actually going to leave him in peace. But I did want to give folks a chance to actually see yeah. him in person because he's... He's pretty fantastic. I also love, though, I don't know if, you, if people at home noticed, but there was like a little regular lizard, not a dinosaur, just a you know, oh, small, yeah, see if I can find that guy. maybe the size of Mario's hand, just running around. It has no game function. It's just there because it adds this wonderful atmosphere to this place. He's a little companion to the T-Rex that's just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sidekick. I, yeah, he might and there's like rats in New Donk City and you know, all these little atmospheric animals. The pigeons in New Donk City are amazing, too. Yeah. They, uh, they have a lot of personality, as pigeons do. <laughs> They're kind of fun to hang out with in the game. All right, so I've definitely got enough of these coins. I'm just going to grab some more because who doesn't want to grab coins? Yeah. And we've it's got a nice little river to splash through down here. And the, the work that's been done on the water effects, I think, is just fantastic. It's gorgeous. Game. It looks and sounds very pretty as well, actually, uh, particularly here playing with my headphones on. Getting Oh, oh there's lizard. the lizard. Oh, Come here. Oh, another one, lizard. too. There's a couple lizards. I'm in the lizard kingdom. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you let me play with you? Oh, oh well. You're not wearing hats? How are you immune to this? Oh, that's OK. They're really fast. I probably have to sneak up on them and take my time. Too agile for Mar Mario. I got to blend in, be more like a lizard, earn their trust. <laughs> but that's all right. Let me find uh, one of our little buddies who had a seed. Here oh, we go. yeah, there's the, uh, the poor, unfortunate robot. Hi. That's OK. That's a big seed to go inside that robot. Like, where was he storing that? Whoop. Robot places. <laughs> I think it was actually in his head. So now he doesn't have the little piece on his head there. I, I think it yeah. just kind of popped out of his skull. Are you saying you took his brain? He's Maybe. not talking anymore. Oh, boy. <laughs> no judgments. I needed the seed to get home. <laughs> so I'm going to tootle my way back over here. This is a... There we go. So this is one of the spots. And we passed by a few of these, but I'm going to try this one out and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, not quite close enough. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. And up, up it we goes. Go. So that's my pathway back up to the sunlit surface. And there's a lot of stuff here that I'm not going to show, but there's stuff down here. So uh, when folks have a chance to get their hands on the final game, I highly recommend yeah. visiting the deep wood. It's a really cool spot. Poke around in every nook and cranny, folks. You'll find something more often than not. For sure. And so here, we actually popped up on the other side of that ridge. So that is where I was coming down. And one of my favorite capture targets is over here. So I would like to introduce our viewers to this wonderful little critter. Yeah. This is an uproot. As I suppose you can tell, he's got little planty legs. Yeah. And he goes up. And this brings back down. Yep. And uh, let's actually take a better look at him. And his Hi. Yeah, flower pot <gasps> counts as a hat. So, so he is all kinds of adorable, all by himself. But he right. look better with a mustache. He's trying so hard to get look. to you. Look. <laughs> He's glorious. <laughs> and now you've become one. And oh. his little hand leaves. I love the way he waves his He's little hand leaves so around. He's just so cute. And he, he's polished himself to a nice shine. He's yeah. He takes care of himself. I think he but waxes. Yeah, with that little mustache. <laughs> he he's is pretty shiny. And his <laughs> noise. Wait, listen to him walk. <laughs> he's got Bottle the cutest little squishy feet. So all right, now I'll show off his ability. So one of the things that's really cool in this game is all the different capture targets you get are going to give you access to different abilities. So here, I've got this nice springy jump. I can actually shake my Joy-Con to give myself a bit of extra boost. And so I can reach things that normally I wouldn't be able to. And a good chunk of the puzzle solving in this game is actually Finding something weird, something maybe that you can't get to or you can't interact with, and then figuring out what in the world is going to let you interact with it. And a lot of times it'll be a capture target. And you have to find maybe the right item, the right enemy, mm -hmm. and get it to where you need to be. And a lot of it's trial and error. You just kind of yeah. mess around. You make some new friends, take over their bodies. And a lot of times the challenge these. will be, you know, oh, I, I see I need to bring this kind of enemy to this spot, but how on earth can I get an enemy you know, that can't jump, for example, to this place to use it? 
And uh, different capture targets, they'll have different advantages, but also some different weaknesses. So a lot of it's uh, going to be kind of getting experience with these different enemies and finding out yeah. how they work to your advantage and also how you have to be careful with them so you look after them if you're trying to get them from A to B. And yeah, he's just adorable. Yeah. Look at his little legs. <laughs> OK, that's enough. I, I've appreciated my little friend and his yeah. cuteness. And I'm going to actually head back down this way because we have enough coins. We could actually go get that outfit. Uh, I'm going to leave you here, bud. Bye. And oh, actually, this so is kind of interesting, so I'm just going to hang out with him. He's a little dizzy. He's dizzy. Feels a little funky. Oh, and his poor eyes. Had him bouncing around for a while, but if I hang out long enough, so what I can do, grab him again. So if I had to finish something up, uh, maybe there was a task I had to complete as Mario, I could let go of my capture target, and while it's sitting there dizzy, I can get something else done and then recapture it. But if I leave him long enough, he's actually going to warp back to where he started. So he's he's okay. He's another worse for wear. He's gonna go home. Ooh, coins! Wait, coins! Oh, oh. Come Whoa, here. that's a big stack of coins! Oh my God. Ah, come here! I didn't see where that came from. Where did that come from? Oh, it's, oh, it went down somewhere. I don't want to go. Shoot! Oh. I missed it. No, it bounced out of one of the bushes. But that is not something I want to show folks just yet. So I'm gonna let that go. Whee! Splash! Ooh, and nice. also oh, and he's, he's wet. Yeah, Look his, at him coming his out of water, the water texture looks so cool. Oh, man, the detail. That's so amazing. I love it. He drips yeah. for a little bit as he's splashing around. The That's detail okay. work in this game is, is just insane. Hey, I'll tell you, every time I see a new ROM of this game, they've hit the textures up again and brushed them up, and it's, yeah. it's always interesting firing up the new ROM and seeing what they've done. I spend money. I will spend money. To I now. will spend money on that. Thank you. And... We showed changing in Crazy Cap in our last segment, so I'm actually going to hang on to these because there's another place that we can go to change, and I'd like to show that off. All right, buddy, thank you as well. Maybe later. Why, thank you. All right, so I have got my... And you'll notice there's souvenirs yeah. for sale there as well that are specific. You know, These are the Steam Gardens souvenirs that you can decorate the Odyssey with. Oh, actually, and I'll point those out as well because we're actually going to take a peek inside. So here Oh yeah. I've got sticker that would actually go on the outside, kind of like a bumper sticker for your car. Yeah. I can decorate my Odyssey, and then some souvenirs there. I won't scroll any farther, but there's there's goodies to be had in each of these <laughs> kingdoms. Yeah, I love that customization. Music. You could just pick and choose how you want yeah. your, your Odyssey to look like. I totally love dig this kingdom, so I'm going to get all of its stuff first. Yeah. And rolling, because Mario has a very strong stomach and he does not get dizzy. <laughs> and so this is the Odyssey, and we're actually going to take a look inside so we can show off what's going on in our ship. So this is the interior of the Odyssey. And you can see I've got some really interesting shelves up here. So I've got some spots I can put some things as I collect some new stuff. Got a nice little seat. I can just chill out and have a relax here by my coffee table if I want to. <laughs> but I've also got this closet here. And I can change to my new outfit pieces here. So I'll hit up the Explorer outfit. Nice. Looking and there's even a mirror. Boss. Yes, I can actually see, get myself positioned right to get the angle. Where am I? Over here. Close. There's my hat. Okay, so I'm over here. There, oh, yeah, we, there are. we go. Hey. Yeah, it's pointed toward the center, center of the room. Here. Yeah. So I'm thinking, uh, Mario's looking good. I'm feeling explore appropriate now. So <laughs> this might actually be a good time to visit that Sphinx and say hi. Maybe. Throw a couple rocks around for good measure. Hi, buddy. I'm going to leave him alone for now. That's all right. So let's head over here and pay this fellow a visit. OK, so what did Bowser steal from this kingdom? Water, wood, flowers, or soil? Now, based on the conversation that we had with those steam gardeners earlier, I'm going with flowers. Yeah. <laughs> flowers are what got taken. Yeah. All right, so now I can head a little bit further into this area. Got some more local currency to grab. Always good to catch those. And these are actually fun, too. We've got uh, these little signposts. As you're playing through the game, you'll learn how to do different moves, get some different tips and tricks. So as you see these signposts, it's really worthwhile to take yeah. a look at those and see what they have to offer. Well, and some of those are returning moves, like, like the backward somersault, mm -hmm. but others are brand new and, or hat-specific and that sort of thing. So this is a very different spot. Got some really cool stuff going over here in the corner. Wow. But first, I've got this purple stuff. Now, you see I can splash it around with Cappy, which is good, because if I actually come in contact, and I'll 
do it because I'm a foolish, foolish person. Ow! Oh, oh, yeah, that hurts. So I have to be very careful of this purple business. And thankfully, Kathy's able to splash it away. And you'll see that there are actually some coins hidden under it. So I've run at this obstacle, but it's actually really in my best interest to try to deal with it. So I'm going to find some more coins. And as I think with uh, the rest of this game, you just never really know what's waiting for you in spots. So it's really worth checking every little corner. We got some uh, nice views over here. Some more off into the woods and some other activity over there. But I'm going to head back this way. A bit more of that out here. I love the surf guitar music here. Yeah, the contrast from the very environment ambient noise that yeah. we just came from. It, it kind of nice matches. Butterflies. Yeah, it kind of matches like the girders that kind of off sand from the rest of the environment. It just <laughs> comes hand in hand, I guess. I'm sure. Yeah. All right, so let's hit the checkpoint flag first, and then we've got the binoculars. So these are returning from previous Mario games. I want to grab this guy. I can get a really nice look at what's coming up. So I can see the brutals, it looks like, are hanging out up there. Yeah. And then there's a lot there's a of terrain lot of up space, here. Yeah. And a lot of stuff I can see already that I'm, I'm not even close to touching on in this segment. But this is a really big kingdom, and there's a lot of interesting surprises there. We got another rocket ship like we saw yeah. in uh, our first segment back yep. in New Donk City. So just to give you a little bit of a sense of what's out here, and I can zoom in and out a little bit, get a closer look. There's another one of my little buddies. <laughs> Hi, another Uproot. one. Just putting around doing his thing. All right, so there I will pop out. And I've got some piranha plants up here. They're spitting that same purple goo, so I know I have to be careful with these guys. And this is actually a good chance to talk about the camera control as well. So just as I'm kind of getting the lay of the land before I head forward, this is all just really smooth movement that I'm able to do with my right stick. So... I can get a really nice view. You'll notice there Mario goes a little translucent when I'm really close, so <laughs> I'm not blocked as far as my view goes with what he's doing. And I can get a really nice view. And oh. his idle animations <laughs> are actually fantastic, too. So it's kind of nice just to let Mario hang out for a minute as you're figuring out where you want to go next and just kind of watching what he gets to. He might actually take a nap here. See if you will. Oh. Maybe going to get comfortable. Step one. Going to oh, sleep. Yeah, yeah. So Mario talks in his sleep, and it is adorable. <laughs> so if you have an opportunity, if you happen to be here and you are messing around with the show floor while I'm, if you have a couple seconds to let Mario take a little nap, it's oh, really cute. Oh. Now you're all purple. I am so purple, and I actually <laughs> stay messy. All right, Cappy is taking one for the team there, and actually the product pants are eating him. So here, no more spitting purple goo, and I can just give him a little hunt. I like that tag team work there. Yeah, it's nice that Cappy's invincible. He takes a fair amount of punishment in this yeah. game. <laughs> so. It's a hard life for a hat. There we go. Do -do -do -do. Here he kind of right. question mark boxes. So I'd like to hop up there, but I'm actually going to take a little stroll this way. Yeah. And be very careful again of these. Uh, this grossness. Boom. Feels good to just be able to kick over a piranha plant. Yeah, <laughs> take that yeah. piranha plant. I'm not that skinny kid from the beach anymore. <laughs> Come here. I want to take this one out too. I want to get a little bit lower so I can get the right angle on him though. Because Cappy is going to go kind of in a straight line. He's not going to go up or down when I'm using him this way. So I need to be very careful. I can certainly throw him. So if I swing my arms up with the motion controls, I get a nice forward throw. If I swing them down, I actually get a nice forward roll. That's pretty but good. But when I toss him, it's really tossing on a level plane, so I need to be very careful of where I am in relation to where I'm throwing him to make sure that I'm actually making contact with what I'm going to make contact with. So, let's sneak over here. Don't want to leave any question blocks unsmashed. I have used Kyrie's really kind of nice and jazzy. I gotta say, I really like this girder environment. It's bringing me back to the DK stages, and totally, I yeah. absolutely love DK, so this is. This is very nostalgic for me. And I love the, the, the color contrast with, you know, you've got the, the, the red metal and the, the green fl uh, plants and everything. It, it's both a texture and a color contrast. It literally looks fantastic. Yeah. And you can tell this has been here a while because it has this growth on it. Yeah, there's yeah. some interesting stuff going on here with what looks like maybe steam coming out of those pipes as well. And I guess yeah. being the steam gardens, they are maybe 
using that in some way. Hi. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yay. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> so good. OK, enough of that. I swear, the first time I captured one of these guys, I just ran around gigging like an idiot for yeah, like same. I'm going to talk about your uproot problem. It's, <laughs> you call it a problem. It's not a problem. <laughs> it's a way of life. It's, it's magic. And they make a cute little noise when they hit that top. Boom! You guys are trying to one-up each other? Is that what's happening? We're, we're dancing. This is how they communicate, baby. We're, we're just kind of hanging out, but I don't want them to hurt me. So it's like how I bees will they communicate the location of flowers. Oh, buddy. So this is an interesting, almost really a side-scrolling section where I need to use my upper abilities. It's worth clearing out some other stuff here too, just to see what's maybe hidden away. Oh, hello. Oh, there you go. There we go. Nice. Your fourth moon. Yeah, and there's That's that little so counter smart. on the upper left to tell you how many moons you've gotten. And it, the first time you arrive in a kingdom, there's a number of moons you need in order to get to the next kingdom. And it'll you show up as little outlines. This this particular ROM, because it's for Treehouse Lab only, it doesn't show that, because we're not trying to get to the next kingdom. But no, we, yeah, we're going to show little, little bits and pieces here, but there's certainly a lot more going on in these kingdoms that we've got here. Yeah. And the beautiful reflection texture on these girders, too. Oh, Steam right. gardeners look after their place. They, keep they really do. Tidy. They're hard workers. Ooh. All right, so I've got some more coins there. And here, I'm actually going to pop this up to the top and try to it's coming for you. pop over this guy. Come here. Come on. Come over this way. There we go. I'll lure you away. <laughs> and now I You're going for your pacifist run, Sam? <laughs> there we go. Oh, I don't want to hurt these little guys. They're, they're too <laughs> precious. They just want to do their thing. Maybe have some sun and some fertilizer. All right, so we've got some coins up here. Certainly don't want to miss those. And we're getting very close to our objective, so this is the next spot. And these little checkpoint flags mean go. you can warp there in the future. Which is I'll actually let my little super handy when you're going here. back later for completion goals and such. So he's dizzy, and just looking back, so it's worth it, I think, as you're progressing through these kingdoms, every once in a while to stop and take a look backwards, because you're going to see some things that you uh, maybe didn't notice, didn't realize were there. So there, for example, I've got some regional coins that I didn't hit on this run, but looking at them from this direction, I can see, oh, there's something there. There's some other interesting stuff going on in that corner, too, so it's certainly worthwhile, you know, uh, backtracking yeah, yeah. Uh, and taking another look at spaces, and there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Sure, no, especially when you're a completionist and you want to get every single moon and every single item that the world yeah. has to offer. Oh, yeah, and this game will keep a completionist busy for a good long oh, while. Oh, yeah. There's uh, so much stuff to find here. Oh, so here we go. Uh, that little Pranapon actually made the mistake of chomping onto that rock I threw over. Oh. <laughs> but I will leave him to rest now. All right, I'm ready. Boom. Nicely done. I'm going to clear out some more of this because I want to make sure if there's any goodies under here, any hidden coins. I want to find these, and there we go. That cap spin is really handy in that spot. Yeah. That looks and really good, too, when you execute it. Yeah, the cap spin's a great move for clearing territory around you. Uh, if you've got a lot of enemies nearby, or maybe you have, like in this case, a lot of this toxic liquid nearby as well, it gives you a really good kind of circle of protection around you. And it could be actually helpful um, for some boss fights as well, just to give yourself a little bit of a perimeter of safety. Your turn, buddy. I'm sorry. You got to go. <laughs> and here, oh, it's a big we've one. got an impressive oh. big piranha plant going on. If we take a look closer up here, I might actually see. Oh, and there's the brutal you're getting ship. close to them. They're our friends. The, uh, the HMS Brutal. Beautiful, beautiful wedding planners. They live All up right. to their name. They're yeah, they're they're, they're brutal. brutal. They are brutal as well as being you know, bridal. Well, it's a hard brutal. job, you know. And yeah. It's a cutthroat business. You gotta make yourself stand out. And maybe <laughs> being willing to take on all challenges and <laughs> fight people is how they make their wedding planning firm stand out. Uh, if you have enemies intent on stopping your wedding, these <laughs> are the the folks to hire. Yes. Good to note. So there. Oh, the rock. It's not all tasty. Right. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I know that didn't taste good at all. Okay. I want to get you, though. 
All right, almost well, there. Sam, we're uh, just Bam. out of time here, Sam. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Done. Yeah, well done. So that was the Wooded Kingdom, which is our Treehouse Live exclusive area for E3. And hope folks enjoyed taking a look at yeah. it. Yeah, thank you.